Welcome back to Buildsum, and in this video we're going to have a look at ceiling joists. So this is the ninth video in our series on the timber framing code, and as I said we're going to look at ceiling joists. So what we're going to do is we're going to assume that we're going to use 90 by 35 for our ceiling joist material, and now that we know that we really need to know how far that uh, 90 by 35 in our stress grade will span. So if you look through the code you'll find a couple of rules which pertain to ceiling joists 7.2.4 7.3.6 and 7.3.6 talks about table 21 and it talks about table 22 but we're going to use table 21 we'll look at that shortly so let's have a look at those rules in a bit more detail so rule 7.2.4 ceiling joists says that ceiling joists shall be at spacings to support ceiling linings so make sure that your joists are spaced to suit your ceiling linings for coupled roofs ceiling joists shall be in single lengths or spliced in accordance with clause 7.2.4.2 and at the same spacing and in the same direction as the main rafters so that they may be fixed to and act as ties between the feet of pairs of opposing rafters. Intermediate ceiling joists may be required to support ceiling linings and end bearings of joists shall be the full width of the supporting wall plate except as provided for in clause 7.2.4.2. So that tells us a bit about how to actually um, use the ceiling joists but it doesn't tell us anything about the size we need or the span of the, of the ceiling joists. So 7.3.6 ceiling joists says that uh, ceiling joists shall be determined from span table 21 if you're not using an overbatten and span table 22 if you are using an overbatten. Overbatten shall be a minimum of 35 by 70 so they're laid on their flat. Uh, F5 is the stress grade. So I've never used overbattens in my life so I'm going to use table 21 without overbattens. So let's have a look at the table. So here's table 21 and you can see no overbatten. And we have our, this is our joist spacings across the top, single span, continuous span, and our timber sizes down the side. And in here are the maximum spans that each member can span. Okay, and there's some notes down the bottom if you want to read those as well. So I need to find out what the maximum single span and the maximum continuous span is for my 90 by 35 timber. So I need to know what my joist spacing is. So if I look at my general information, my joist spacing is 600. So in this case I'm going to use this column here for single span and this column here for continuous span. So let's just highlight that. They're, they're the two columns we're going to use. Don't have to worry about the rest of the table. So now what we have to do is come along our 90 by 35 rows and we'll find what our two spans are. So for a single span, the maximum single span our ceiling joist can span is uh, 1700 or 1 1.7 meters and for a continuous span is 2.2 .2 or 2200 millimeters so they're our maximum spans for our ceiling joists so now I know those in another video I'll show you how we can then work out how many hangers we're going to need to carry our ceiling joists so our 90 by 35 ceiling joist 1700 single span 2200 continuous span